Mario! Uh... Oh, sorry, you're not doing anything wrong this time. My apologies. Hey, hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is take two on this boss, because I just couldn't figure out what to do the first time, and I was flailing around for like 10 minutes trying to figure out what to do, and that doesn't really make for a good video. <laughs> so this is Red Brief J. That's apparently his name. And he certainly lives up to his name with his, well, Red Briefs. <laughs> So he's this bull-like guy, he's super strong, and quite flamboyant. <laughs> I love his appearance, actually. Now, what you've got to do is get him to charge near the end of the field. Get him to get off balance like that when he gets to the edge, and then slam the platform to get him to take a hit. Now, for each round, he, he does one more charge per section. So, like this one, he'll be charging twice. Uh, you can also shoot fire, obviously, but they're pretty easy to dodge. But what, I, what I'm trying to demonstrate here first, of course, is the most important thing, hitting him. <laughs> and when he does that, do not stand on these metal grates off to the sides. He'll take a hit from the heat itself, or I should say the sparks. Now, he, when I watch, he's going to do two this time. The second one, he'll be off balance, and you slam the center, and he'll fall in the lava. Now, the next time, it'll be three times. Alright, what other attacks do you got that I need to show? You're doing your jump thingy again, that's not very helpful for you. It looks like he takes a hit when he does that, but he doesn't. He just gets like a hot foot and that's just not nearly enough for him. Woo! Uh, if you punch him, that won't do anything in the slightest, by the way, so... Just saying. Okay, one, two, and then three. Slam the center, yeah! It's easier to dodge that charge attack when you use your R button charge yourself, uh, but you have to have good timing to do that. But it's but once you get the timing down, it's way way easier to dodge that. See, it's it's not a hard boss in the slightest to dodge his attacks. It's just a thing of I had to figure out how to hit him. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. Slam the center. Voila. Eat up that pocket change. For some reason, he doesn't hurt you when he slams back down in the center like that, or at least I didn't notice him doing so. Woo! <laughs> Come on, charge, charge, charge. Oh, don't do your ballerina twirls. I can't work with this. I need your charge attacks. There we go. One, two, three, four, one more. That's all, folks. Oh, she beating the pocket change. I feel kind of bad, but it had to have been done. I mean, he didn't seem like that bad of a guy, did he? Nah. Okay, maybe he did. <laughs> I'm just being silly as usual. Wow, that was a lot of light effects there for a single key piece. 100% did well for me! And the final world of the game is open up. Uh, maybe it's not a good idea for me, for me to have saved that, because obviously I'm going to be playing an, another level in this part, likely as blind as I could possibly play it, but I suppose I could just restart, uh, like cut here or something if I need to redo a level or something like that. What is this water? Yeah, it's water. It looked for some reason like some sort of odd quicksand to me at first. Why is the sign so far away from the door? I have no idea. And let's go inside the first level of World 4. Yeah. really wish I remembered this game a lot more than I do, because that might account for the uh, bungles that I've been having along the way. And I do not like the idea of Mirror Mansion. That doesn't sound like it's going to be very healthy for me. <laughs> Something tells me there's something up here, just because there's a block that goes up. There's a switch. There's a trap spriteling. Uh, I definitely have to go down here first, that's for certain. Uh, what do we have here? This probably activates the blocks to go upwards. Do I seriously have to memorize this? Or not? 
Okay, I can just do them as they flash. That'll make things a little bit easier on myself. I would never be able to memorize that much. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. Oh wow, that makes things so much easier than if I were to attempt to memorize that. I should have did that in that other one, you know, when there was just five blocks. Ah! That makes me happy, I found a new technique. Uh, do I want to break that block? I, pro I, don't know. I suppose I could reset that block later. I don't know what the point of this type of block is there, because you can't break it. Because you need to be hitting it off on that side to be able to break it. Oh, I see. It's a block that moves on its own like a thwomp when you get near it. So that means this one will do the same. Oh, no! Should I have done that? No, wait, that was the one that, that was the side that was blocked off. This is the side I need to get up to the sprite link to. Okay. Oh, got a little worried there. <laughs> yes, I know, Navi! Hmm. Interesting. So it's probably like the uh, Yoshi's Island DS boss where you can only see it in the mirror and stuff like that. Ah! Or something like that. That's what I'm guessing. What kind of critters are these things anyway? That cannon guy is really terribly in the way. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and let's just start swinging it around so I can do this. Voila! It's about time, hey? Uh, I hope I'm not missing anything along the way. I don't think I am. What is... Oh, I see. They want me to do stuff like this. So there's this panel right there. There's these weird bird-like enemies that I can't see. I would like to pick it up. There we go. Am I on top of the trap door? I'm going... I can't tell. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay, I got the critter. Kind of feel bad with the way it's squealing, but I can live with that. Okay, I made it in. <laughs> Somehow. Oh, it's Super Monkey Ball all over again. You remember this one from um, Banana Blitz. Well, sort of. It had these rotating rings. I don't know if I should have the camera like this or the other way, because I think, yeah, the camera's going to get in... I mean, the blocks are going to get in the way of the camera. Oh! I'm sure I pressed the jump button on that third ring. That's weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I can do it this way. It's kind of awkward, though. They, they get, oh, I see, they spin faster as you go along. Should I be doing them one at a time, then? Hmm. I can do two at a time if I wanted to, I suppose. But it really seems safer just to do it like this. If at all possible. Eh! Because, you know, I can see exactly where my uh, jump distance is. Okay, I'm gonna have to move towards the camera or something when the ring is moving away from me. Or I'm gonna have to do a blind jump when there's a block in the way or something. I just I just gotta jump when I'm on a flat surface. I, can't, I don't seem to be able to jump when I am on... when I'm sliding down the wall. Which does make sense, physics-wise. <laughs> oh, jeez! I actually got pushed outside of that last stream because of pure momentum. This is a tricky one, I have to say. <laughs> At least you don't lose health when you fall out of this, fall out of the rings each time. Eh. Okay, eh. let yourself get to the flat spot, and then jump to the next one. Oh. Carefully, holy poopers! <laughs> How do I get to that? Oh, maybe I should just do a charge jump. I mean, uh, you know, the R button and then the jump button on that, on that last one. This one's diabolical. It doesn't look that hard, but it's really, really awkward. Eh. Maybe I should be jumping when the rings stop, if at all possible, to control, um, you know, my momentum as well. And not at the bottom of the ring, as I have been doing. Uh, I'm getting the hang of the feel of it, as you can tell. 
Yeah! Alright, it's about time. Let's get out of here. And, well, there's that treasure chest up there. Looks like I have to climb up on the... Did I just jump off the edge? Ah! <laughs> All right, so we're looking for a spring in a underground spring. Actually, it's not so much a spring, it's a sewer. Although the water looks very weird, like it's contaminated with oil or something like that. I don't know of any sewer that has water that bad. And yeah, I would, I would still like to look around for the, um, a pink. You know, just to see if there's anything down here as long as I'm here. Just so I can clear out everything. Okay. Nope! <laughs> I've seen it aiming for me. I jumped, but it still got me. Whatever. Alright, now let's get that treasure chest. Oh, Lance, you're right next to it. Thank you. That was a mirror in the mirror mansion. Uh, up, up we go. I don't see anything else. Not really gonna bother. Unless I see more things. I don't think they would, like, hide stuff behind a wall or something like that. There's a mouse in some of those wheels. Uh, I've seen that yellow switch. I, do I need to get up there? It doesn't look like I need to get up there, so I'm just gonna stay down here. Uh, ow. Maybe those mice are to, like, show you that you can't go inside some of these or something like that. I, I don't know. Oh, there's a sticky ball. Uh, I, I, did you see anything over there? I, I didn't see anything else. Why am I asking you? I don't know. <laughs> Probably because I'm the crazy gaming guy. Alright, let's just get out of here. <laughs> you know, I, I really don't know if it's the bombs exploding that's... Well, it's like sometimes they get stunned when I punch a crate and sometimes they don't. It's, it's really kind of weird, but I, they do seem to, seem to get stunned by the bomb explosions. So I, I still don't get those things. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna have to ride that thing across the spikes, aren't I? Whenever you see something mechanical like that, it's gonna be moving. I think. Huh? Although I hear a little spriteling around here. Oh, that's right over there. What do I do to get... Ah, okay. <laughs> Just punch the lion, that makes a whole lot of sense. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Why was that thing still moving in the middle of the cutscene? That's not fair. Um... Okay. That was very mean. <laughs> well, at least I made it across. Uh, are these the terrible portraits they're talking about? Hey! 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 No, they just ask me if I know how to attack things that are above me. Am I supposed to hit the arms? Oh. I can pick up this. Oh, 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 it's, it's these barrel guys. You do this. Yeah. It's just like that weird enemy in the boss. That enemy boss thingy at the um, snow place. Uh, looking for another barrel guy, that would be very appreciative. Thank you. So I guess you can't hit that thing. It's the hands that you have to hit. Boop. Yep. Makes sense to me. Any prizes? Just some pocket change? Okay, let's move on. And why am I so low on health? I could use a garlic man. Whoa! Imitation triceratopses again, maybe? Mm -hmm. Hmm, this, this one's kind of dangerous. Uh, not that dangerous, I suppose. Well, so far, I think I have 100%ed everything, so Geronimo! And what is this thing? I don't know, but it's very easy, and it seems to be tied up already. <laughs> That's a bad enemy to leave uh, running around your place. It can't even defend itself properly. Or at least it seemingly can't. Alright, one block jumps, one block jumps. Should I even bother with those coins? It doesn't seem worth it. Mm. Is there... There's probably something on the upper paths. Maybe. Or am I supposed to jump up there using the blocks? Yeah, this seems like what I'm supposed to do. Okay. 
I probably jump down to here. Um, okay, this looks diabolical. Are they? Yeah, they're all in a straight line. So this shouldn't be that bad, I guess. One block at a time. There we go. Platforming 101. It's actually side scrolling 101. Well, side scrolling can be platforming as well. Eh. Well, in fact, it is mostly platforming. <laughs> Looks like I had to reach this place anyway, because here's the spring. So I wasn't exactly a special area that I would have, I mean, not have to get to, like an optional thing. Well, is that, are those mirrors? Or is that some sort of net? Yeah, this is mirrors. I was going to say, you'd fall right through that thing if you could, if you were actually supposed to be able to walk on this, but that's mirrors, yeah. Um, well, I definitely want to go up there to get that switch. Can I... How do I hit that switch when I'm attached to... Oh, they're a lot more dangerous than I thought they were. <laughs> Can I hit it like... Well, that works. I just did a butt slam in front of the switch and it didn't hit it. Makes no sense, but... I probably shouldn't question that. <laughs> so needless to say, I'm using the mirrors to get around. Up is down and down is up on the mirror, so just think of it like that. And I'm sure I need to use this to get to the other side. Garlic man, there you are! You are my one true love in this place of mirrors and death and... I, I need to get rid of you so I can safely eat the garlic. <laughs> I will spend all my riches just on garlic alone because I love you so much. Go away! <laughs> Power throw! Yeah! There we go. As I said, I like to be a little more careful so I'm not flailing around and losing loads of coins via game overs. <laughs> well, I know that there's an upper path, obviously, but what's on the lower path first? Treasure chest. Delightful. Alright, and now we take the upper path and platform off screen, apparently. Eh. Squeaky, squeaky, sticky. Eh. Eh. So, uh, this isn't all that hard to do, actually, despite how it looks. Alright. This, uh, yeah, that's a jump. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I My jump was off at a slight angle, but I... Overall, had the timing of that pretty well down. So I'm gonna have to go back over there. It's not that hard. Eh. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, all I have to do is get myself to charge properly to the right. There we go. Safe. Well, sort of. Here's a trapdoor. Mm. Whoa! Hmm. Just gotta get the rhythm down. I should say pay attention to the rhythm and how quickly they move before I start moving up there. Good! And... That is a really handy jump to have. <laughs> I don't think it's possible to get over there without that, without using that jump. Uh, imitation pterodactyls. You know what, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take one with me, just in case I need one down there. It seems like a good idea. I didn't see anything that I mi- oh. This is really helpful, actually, to bring one down here first, because I can start nailing enemies right away. Eh, eh. Grab one! Spin it! Yeah! Death! Destruction! Violence! Blood! Pain! This game is definitely not kid-friendly. <laughs> I haven't used that one in a while. I, I try not to overuse things, if at all possible. <laughs> but I've sort of missed the ki not kid-friendly joke. Ah! Don't peck at me! Oh, you're de definitely a different kind of enemy. You don't react like any other one before. Are these like some sort of odd crow? It certainly seem like it. All of these spinny guys. 
you don't do anything until they spin, because, I mean, they can, they can touch you, but until they do their spin attack, they're, they're not going to get anything off you. <laughs> Alright, so, like, there's that way, and there's this way. Well, I can come back here. I mean, I can come back from here, I think. Actually, it doesn't look like I can. So which path is the right path? I hope it doesn't, like, make me go and do two things. Like, different, do two paths. This is a backwards uh, lie in there. Oh, oh, come on! I did a jump, proper jump there. Or at least I thought I did. Uh, yeah, it really is just like the mirror boss from, um... Oh, me, I should say mirror ghost boss from uh, Yoshi's Island. DS. <laughs> it just looks so awkward. Wait, wait, do I want... Shoot! 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 I tried... Oh, wait, that lion actually turns back around? Oh, I wish I would have known that earlier. <laughs> I should be more observant. At the I'm still trying to figure out... Yeah, they do... I mean, they are stunned by the bomb blast, so whenever you punch a crate, push a bomb into the water to automatically make it explode and stun them for a little longer. I mean, just stun them right... See that? <laughs> it works quite well, actually. And they also... They're definitely stunned by your punch to the crate as well. Maybe maybe the reason why it didn't seem like they got stunned by your punches on the crates before... Or I should say my punches before, was because of the fact that they were still stunned and it didn't look like they got stunned because they were, you know, didn't get stunned anymore. What? Where? Huh? <laughs> Where am I missing... Seriously, what am I missing in here that I haven't... Oh! Is this the last crate, really? <laughs> One corner I don't touch, anyway. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be back in that sewer area soon enough. I bet you could use a little bit of momentum with that tail twitch. Twitchy tail to get uh, <laughs> to new spots, like, you know, by using it to jump forward, because that's just how the game's physics tend to work. Oh, there's a, there's a switch spot over there. Oh. oh! Those fall? So I shouldn't be... What about these? These fall? I don't think these fall. Okay, don't touch the blue ones unless you can get to another platform quick enough. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what about... How do I get over there? From the other side or something? Hmm. Oh, that was terrible aim. <laughs> All I can do is laugh at my mistakes. Um, you know, I bet you I could get over there with a charge jump. I thought I'm not that sure about it. <laughs> what? Well, I got there, but. Is that... Yeah, that middle platform is moving, so that's why it seems like... Um, it seems like it gets further and closer away as I go. Alright, wait for it... I said wait for it, but I didn't wait for it. Actually, I thought it was coming towards me, that's why I made my move. Should I, which way should I be going? Maybe I should be going the other way, but this, this way, even with the spike balls, you know, it seems a little bit easier because it's shorter. The way that these platforms are moving, it's really awkward. <laughs> it's hard to explain just how awkward it is. Hmm. Well, I can get that now, but I'm gonna have to come back to that platform later. That's why I didn't bother to get that, because I noticed the spring was there. Which one do I have to be on to be on, be on the right timing for that platform? I guess that works. Just get that. There we go. Now, I know I can get back to that platform. I mean, jeez. I got there twice already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, it's like they, they move from side to side. But they also rotate, that's what makes it so awkward to get a feel for these things. 
think I was moving away from it, that's why I took a jump there. <sighs> Come on. Are these platforms actually staying broke? Like, or is there naturally a few uh, missing pieces in some of these? No, it looks like that there is just a few missing pieces, pieces on these naturally. Hmm, that's kind of weird actually. Because I thought it was just like leaving empty holes because of platforms that I've already touched, but it doesn't really seem to be the case. And I am moving away from it if I stay on these things for too long. Okay, I'll grab the pocket change because I deserve it. And get out of here. <laughs> Alright, blue switch. Where that blue switch is, I have no idea. But I do know that there is a heart fragment along this path. <laughs> that would really suck if I fell there. Got that. I hope I didn't miss a blue switch. That would make me really sad. <laughs> well, I know these lions can go back and forth now, so maybe there's a blue switch on the path that I'm supposed to go back for. There's a treasure chest. Okay, so he's gonna come back around. I hope. <laughs> Yeah, good old Wario Tune remixes. Now, are you gonna turn around when you touch the edge, or am I gonna have to punch you again? I'm gonna have to punch you again. Hmm, <laughs> so slow. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to the end before. I... Ah, there's the blue switch. It's exactly what I needed. Just what I needed. Now I have to go back to the right. Ah, I should have came here first! But I had no idea! <laughs> well, I suppose if this lion went any faster, it would be kind of difficult to keep up with it at certain times. Eh. <sighs> well, I know that he turns around at the end, so maybe I could get the treasure and then go eh, like this go 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 oh I shouldn't have rushed and I'm back here again find the dang spring quickly this time PK Gam it's completely random but still find it quickly ah. <laughs> I thought it's there again just because I, that was the place that got me before <laughs> oh there we go Oh, it brings you back there. That's actually pretty handy. <laughs> but I, I still think it would have been a little bit quicker if I just rolled the lion back here. But alas, I missed the sticky glue globe. Not gonna miss these, though. Alright, moving on. I don't think I've missed anything yet, which makes me very happy. Just checking what's over here to make sure. Garlic. Treasure chest. Definitely handy. Is that some stained glass or something like that? What the heck was... It was stained glass. Hmm, interesting. Uh, how much... How much have I got here? It looks like I'm on the right track. I mean, it looks like that I've got... How much I would have at this point in the level, considering that there is, um... Three red crystals left to get. And... I'm pointing the wrong way, aren't I? <laughs> Yeah, the, I guess these are the enemies that you can only see in the mirrors. Uh, wait, wait. Oh, oh, I spun the wrong way, dang it. Uh, that's why I said wait, because I could tell I was spinning the wrong way. Oh. I'm blindly hitting things. <laughs> I have no idea what this does. I'm just turning it for the sake of turning it. Oh, I bet you it opens. This! Okay, now that I know that, I just wanted to double check this area to make sure I didn't miss anything. Wait, 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 what, what, what is that? Is this something that I should fall down? I bet you it is! Yep. Good thing I went back, because I wouldn't have been able to come back here. <gasps> Switch! Oh! I didn't know that was there, I just walked on top of it by accident. 
And switch! <laughs> what, what the heck am I supposed to do here? Uh, clearly I'm supposed to move the platforms down. Wait, I'm just supposed to hit the three switches? Really? That's it? I'm honestly a little disappointed at that. I was expecting that I'd have to do like some sort of a vertical climb, like keep falling down after hitting switches or something like that. Whoa! I need to get across there for the crystal. There we go. Mm, that's it, I think. I hope. Moving on! Just want to make sure there isn't anything that I might miss via the mirrors. Well, I don't think there is. So I'm just going to open up ye old gate again and hopefully be able to get over there. There we go. Oh, there's a way back using that switch. Ah, garlic man. I'm always happy to see you. Why was that guy frightened of me? I have no idea. I don't think I should pay for half a garlic. I'm not getting my money's worth. Well, I'd be getting a full garlic, garlic but it would only recover half a health. Um, there's Kablua there, apparently, in the mirror. I don't know which direction I'm supposed to be going here. I don't know if that'll block me off if I beat that boss just yet. Okay, I'm going to have to come back here later, anyway, but I might as well do this now, just in case. Go, go! It's so awkward getting in those things and you are slamming with a large item. Oh, this again! This again. Can I get your timing right? What? <laughs> I just jumped off it just before it sprung. Oh, came up a little bit short. My timing must have been off there. That's okay. So it's like that, huh? Woo! That failed! <laughs> I have no idea where I'm supposed to jump off that second one there. This first one's obvious. You just gotta jump as soon as it starts moving like that. That one, though, I'm not sure. Maybe at the peak of the fling. Like there! Ah! That works. I still have to get... The other side, oh, other side, and oh, do I, oh, jeez, I have to use that to get across the other side, but won't that make me fling too far, or is Wario going to grab the edge? It does make you go too far. Okay, so I gotta control my speed on that third one. Oh, jeez, this is, this is like the, um, Chuckster Piantas in the Super Mario Sunshine, if you remember that from my walkthrough. You know how you just, it's just such a hard, it's just so hard to get the feel of these things down. At least there's no timer though, like trying to get red coins, that, that was just, that just put that thing over the top. Ah! Maybe I should be jumping a little bit earlier so that I can counteract the physics. Yeah! <laughs> Pianta Globes, you are the bane of my existence. Woo! Pretty fun to fly through the air, though. This might just be overly precise, though. But it's possible. I can tell it's possible. Woo! Okay, I got those two down pretty good. Consistency as possible. I know that. And... Yes! Don't you dare miss the jump. <laughs> so that was the last heart fragment. Still need that one. Tre two treasures, actually. Okay. I can live with that. Because there's a little bit more to go on the right anyway. Alright, give me a barrel. Not a lightning. I need a barrel. Not a rock, either. There we go. 
This boss is ridiculously easy. <laughs> I think the only thing that they really aim... I mean, the only thing that really aims to you is the fire and lightning that see right there. I suppose the um, snowman guy there also aims to you slightly. But only when he attacks you, and that's far and few in between. And lightning... Lightning's a little bit faster, but... It seems easier to dodge than the fire, actually, because it's less about homing in on you as it is just bouncing off the walls. Not unless it, you know, hits you as it's as you're shooting at something. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> I definitely want to be on top of that, I'm sure. Or not. Or is that just a trap to be mean? It just looks just like a trap to be mean. All right, so there's two, two switches. There's one down here and one up there. Please don't tell me that I missed the upper switch because I fell down here. Please don't tell me I missed the upper switch, didn't I? I betcha if I fall down here and then go back out, it'll take me back up to the top. That's what usually happens. This is just a theory here, because I, I really, really do not want to go through this level all over again. <laughs> well, I suppose it wouldn't be that hard to do so, but it's the thing of... I fell, and I missed the switch, that would have been really, really easy to get. <laughs> that was probably for the, um... Uh, platform on the right side, too. Because you have to use those platforms to get back up to the right side anyway. Sure enough, it's the last one again. All right, it does take you up here. Thank God. <laughs> All right, got that switch and the one down below. Those are the last two switches. So I can now go over to the right once again and get the treasure. All right, so there's one more and it's likely off to the left. Then I will be done with this level. It's not all that hard of a level, but it's... I forgot about that block. Would that kill me in one hit if I let that thing hit me? I don't know, but I'm too scared to try. <laughs> oh geez, the, these mirrors are like crystals or diamonds or something like that. That, that makes things really, really awkward. Alright, pay attention for a purple chest. Somewhere. Right, see the glue globes on the walls. Okay. There's the last red crystal down there, so that means there's a way to get back up from here. There's the last treasure! The last red crystal! Yeah! Successful run is successful! Okay, there's this. Mean MC? Mean MC MC? Maybe it's supposed to be like MC Hammer or something like that. Mm. Okay, that's good to know, I suppose. Whoa! I knew I had to jump through those rings. That's kind of mean, but I knew I had to do it. That's kind of... Look at that, there's a spike ball outside. Acting as if it's like a pivot point. That's a nice little detail there. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, eight out of eight. Uh-huh, 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 yeah! <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Well, I should say, let's go fight the boss. That would be mean if they set it up to have, like, an impossible way to get back um, up here after you have to jump down here to get to the treasure chest and whatnot. Like, you'd have to use that balloon or something like that. That would be such mean level design. I have no idea why I had so much trouble getting up there. It's like there's some sort of lift that pushes you away from the wall. Alright. Mean MC? Well, that's Star. Oh, it's a magician sort of guy. Frankenstein? Is that you? Oh, you're definitely not Frankenstein. You're pr rather freaky, though. And why, why is there spritelings jumping off on the side as if they're a crowd or something like that? Can I punch you right now? 
<laughs> yes, I can. Well, you're gonna do something now. I don't know. Oh, you're gonna spin. I'd rather not you. Okay. Now, that sprightling. Didn't you say that it's not the one that you think it is? So that means this isn't the correct one. Right? Yeah. Or was it? Um. Let's just try it again. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what they want out of me here. Is there, is there anything like around the edges that will hint as to which one it is? I don't know. <laughs> I need to hit you somehow. And I don't know how. I try. Yeah, you've only got one choice at these things. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> at least I can punch you there. But what does it take to hit you? That is the question. Is there some sort of hint that tells me which one he is under? Um, what? I've seen his feet under there that time. But the other times I didn't. I, hmm. Well, that's how you hit him, apparently. You gotta guess the right one. And don't you dare sneak under. Okay, now this time I'm going to... Trust that I picked the right one. Okay, so I just didn't see his feet in there before? Huh. Oh, well, okay then. <laughs> so I, I was doing it right before, just that I had to punch the thing when it was up. And okay. The old cup game. Tricky in more ways than one. This one. Eh. Oh, yeah, I know about the whole cup game trick where you can uh, swap a ball between cups outside of people's vision by doing it fast enough. Did I just get him to fall off the edge? Aww! <laughs> that would have been awesome if he would have taken a hit there. Oh! I think this is the right one. Yes! My sharp eyes cannot be deceived because you don't switch between cups like a ball. <laughs> I don't think there's any point to punching him when he does that. I mean, there's any point to punching him when he's tiptoeing through the tulips here. Boop! Haha. <laughs> and that's the boss. That's the level. And that is all for this part. Clear, complete, with a jaggedy, pixely shadow. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part. And now I can officially save and not worry about having to redo the part like I thought earlier in the part. 